Woo! Can you say, woo! Another day, another opportunity, another obstacle to overcome. Today our obstacle is, what is it, Laurel? Today, you guys wanna let the little chicks out? Yes. Wanna let the goose and the chicks out? And do it right now? And then we have. Let them out. Yeah, you can let them out. Yeah. We're gonna let Lily let them out, okay? Oh, you gotta get an energizer up here for him, Jonah. And how about let's get the hundred and some odd chicks, layer chicks, out into the field? I probably need rebar fence posts. The reason they're flimsy is because they're going down into mulch, so there's not a lot holding them. Y'all ready to get out? Just one length, just move it two feet forward. There you go. Bet they won't come out at first. And that's probably a good thing because they, they, they feel comfortable and safe in there. That means maybe they'll come back. Should I pick them one up and put them on the ground? No, let them do it themselves. We want them to feel real good about their coop so that they come back to it. All right. You guys, your pen's looking amazing. Hey, the power company brought us more chips. These are amazing. They're, they, they chip them up so fine and they're so fresh. I did forget to cover it last night, but I don't think it dude very strong. So I think we're gonna be okay. A little moist right here. No, it's just darker chips, I think. I almost forget this every morning. Apple cider vinegar. That's dripping quite a bit. Turns out I had it on right the first time. Rubber washers are supposed to be on the other side. The only thing I think I can try is tighten it down, getting a tool and tighten it down. I hope that works. Feel the surface. It's nice and cool. We don't want you guys to get hot. Keep the surface dry and cool. Oh my word. King of the hill, man. What's the view like from up there? Good. Nice view. Good. Good. Little animal protein. Little curds and whey. You're welcome. We're in an exceptionally dry spout. It's not even gonna rain till like next week. So we gotta create our own rain. Okay, already they're out. Look. They're already out. They're on spilt feet from yesterday. Something very right about that, right? That's where you guys belong. Now we'll see if they go up. I'm a little worried about that goose. He's, she seems still a little agile. So, maybe we'll leave your feed and water right outside. Hey, did y'all see the chicks are out? No. Guinea checking it out. Yeah, you have a new run to go check out, Guinea. Guess what? What? My mama hen laid, my, uh, mama hen laid an egg. Oh, your hen that hatched out those chicks laid an egg? Okay, that means she's done. She's done mothering, She could, you could put her back with the main flock. Good morning, unicorn. What's this? What? We gotta go get mulch. Is that, those wood chips are working out as mulch, aren't they? They're not as fluffy, they weigh down, there's not like getting all up on them. What? It's not getting in their waters. What? The mulch. Mm -hmm. Hey Gideon, where's the wooden spoon you had this morning? It was in the, it was in the tank. Just want to moisten it. Forgot to soak it last night. Moisten it smo soaks up all the uh, the finer things that is kind of like a dust. Hey Lily, pull the power off, honey. You know how to do it? Don't touch the clamps. Okay, there you go. Let's see, where do we need you to work today? This looks like a perfect spot.
because we had to give them two, two 10 gallons yesterday. Uh, they're still good. They probably drank about five gallons. So tomorrow we'll have to fill it or get them their water line out here. I think because, well, that the chicks I'm not worried about. They're, they, look, they about went up in there. It's the goose. And the goose seems to kind of be, well, it's smaller than the other one. And she just kind of, oh, she's walking. Okay. Give, it, give her a drink, Gideon. Papa, do you think I should um, spread out the gray on the floor? No, I think Feel that's good. Um, so we'll have to put her in it now, okay, Lily? Are you wandering around with a plant? I am. Trying to find it a home? I dug it up from, uh, I dug it, I'm digging out the plants in the moon. Finding them homes. All right, Rebecca. We're gonna go set up the chicks. Yeah. Hey, are y'all ready? Now you don't have to put bedding in the layered layer ones. What? We're gonna move them right now. Come on, let's get the A-frame set up. Let's move them. Shoot, I just realized something. We're putting the chicks here. We're having the cows mow it down. Is that nice? Look at that. They mowed it down mega. That's where those pigs were last year, guys, on the garden. Did an uncover crop. A lot of the natives came back. This is grazable stuff, it just healed so quickly. Shoot, I need to put them right here. I'm not gonna blend them, I could totally blend them with these guys, but honestly I have so much layer feed I need to get rid of. I just need to keep people separate. Chicks don't need to eat layer feed because it's got calcium in it. So that's one reason I'm switching over to everybody to a starter or grower, because everybody can eat it. You guys can do with a little extra protein. So we're gonna put, set the chicks up here. I could just put them in the A-frame, no fence. But, just predator protection. So the cows are here yesterday. I'm gonna give them, it's a two day paddock. I just didn't have enough time to do a divider fence. So let's, let's give them one more day here. Mow this down even more. And then we'll put them in here tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Cool. I see. Nice. Does he have the punch? Yeah, but it's not okay. very big. So guys, it's a good thing you did that because we can't move them. The okay. cows are in there. Hey. Ah! I was gonna see if you had a big wrench. Yeah, we got lots of that wrench. Thick. I'm thinking if we just tighten this up. It's like a water hose, I'm guessing. If you don't tighten that up real tight, it's gonna leak. Come on in, you don't even have Thanks. to take this huge. Whoa. That's yes. Mac Daddy. Huh? I like that. That's the big daddy wrench. That was Teddy wrench. <laughs> Look how big that wrench is. He gave us some pipe wrenches too. But we got to try this. This is this is definitely more traumatic. Is this where you're transplanting your... Yep. What do you think those are? We still got a good they're guess? They're cucumbers or acorn squash. I'm going to guess. Okay. <laughs> Let's empty this. Yay. This side on the outside. Here we go, get in. And then, plastic washer, rubber washer. A rubber washer, plastic washer. I don't think that it's, I did a bad pilot hole job. Because that rubber washer is going on surface everywhere. I think I just have to tighten it real tight. Just so you watch that, make sure it's not turning, okay? All right, ready? What do you think? Let's try that before we strip it. Dry it off. Okay, we're over. It doesn't usually leak till it gets a lot of pressure. It leaked. I think that's our problem. It's not getting through the rubber washer. It's getting through this thread. I didn't plumber. I didn't plumber tape this. Oh, but is that it? We've threaded it. We've plumber taped it. We've tightened it tighter than we ever have before. Let's try it. Dry it off. Almost there. 
Oh, there it went. Ah, there it leaked. Okay, turned off. All right, we'll see what the manufacturer recommends for inserting into one of these things. Mm.